Imagine being a high school student and getting to design and build your own experiment, then getting to experience what it's like to float in zero G by testing that experiment. Well, that's exactly what some high school students are getting the opportunity to do as part of the High Schools United with NASA to Create Hardware, or HUNCH Extreme. One of the engineers wanted to know if students could um, build experiments because of the national lab was set up and a third of the experiments were um, supposed to deal in education and um, usually that is with universities but Hunch involved high schools and so they wanted to see if high school students and they've been really successful in... Um, That's what I was going to say, since 2009, what, let's talk about some of the successes. So um, we have right now um, 13 schools that participated last year, flew on the zero gravity plane out of Ellington Field, and um, of them, uh, one school was selected this year, and two in previous years to um, go to the International Space Station. However, none have reached that spot yet. All, all three schools are working on it, but uh, we have yet to s send one to the ISS. But it's a learning process, right? Uh, the, whole, the whole thing, the procedures, working with NASA, it's, it's all a learning experience for these kids. It's a huge learning experience and, and the schools um, that have been, who have been selected have actually been working for um, two of them for five years. So every year they fly on the zero gravity plane, they improve their experiment. The students often change who are working on it, um, but the teacher doesn't. And um, every year they learn to meet those constraints and uh, better and eventually they hopefully will get to fly to the ISS. That is their ultimate goal. What is your ultimate goal with this program? It's a win-win situation. So it's a win for NASA because these students are doing important research for us. Um, we don't tell them what to do because my ultimate goal is to get the students to be uh, involved in their experiment, to own their experiment, to be the, the researchers in their experiment. Um, and to teachers as the facilitator. So I want to, my ultimate goal is to promote STEM education, but real life hands-on STEM education. I want them to apply their knowledge and use it in a meaningful way, not to build a, a book holder or some other experiment, but really know that what they're doing is contributing to not just space exploration, but here on Earth, because all their experiments need to be important for space exploration and Earth um, development. So you guys are developing experiments? Is that what your school is tasked with? Yep. We come up with an experiment that somehow betters life for astronauts in space. Um, in some way, in some very small way, and uh, seek to put it on the space station to test it out and to put it into circulation, actually. Have you done something already? Yep. We are in the process of developing a tool. It senses how far away tools are. Uh, so it's a, it uses RFID, and you put a sticker on your object, and if it floats a certain distance away, it will alert the user. And it can kind of be work used in reverse, too, if you lost something. You just bring the sensor around and it can tell you if you're close. The kids called it SPIDER, which I thought, I, they, they came up with that and I'm like, oh, it's brilliant. You know, uh, so it stands for Spatial um, Identification and Ranging. Wow. I, I like SPIDER, you know, with the thread going out and grab, I'm like, I thought that was a really clever acronym. And so I, I just continually am impressed by my kids and their ability to, to take it up on their own and, and to do a good job, that's, and that's neat to see. And especially I've, I've had kids that, that say, this is something I wanna do. Like they're going to school now and that's their dream job is to work for NASA. And I'm like, oh, it's awesome. I think it's a really incredible opportunity in that way to do real science, to be on a deadline, to purport the proposal, to write grants, you know, and to, to then share your data with everybody else. I think. I mean, that's what science is. I mean, so they're just doing it on a, on a smaller scale, smaller budget, but it's really the same sort of thing, which I think is cool. It's been a real pleasure for me as an educator to, you know, because I, I teach kids a lot, and they learn things for the test, but to actually see kids working hard 
and involving, I mean, English, art, math, science, you know, in one specific project has been really cool. And it's, it, it, and it's cool because it opens up for me um, just the whole agency, you know, with NASA. I mean, as a, a kid who loves science, I mean, it's really rejuvenated my teaching and it gets kids excited about learning science. And uh, it's been a real, it's changed the way I teach um, and just the way I look at the kids and the, the neat stuff that we do. So it's, it's been a real, you know, a real blessing for me to be a part of that program.